on YouTube, Promez here. Welcome back to more Vampire Walkthrough I'm doing. If you've seen the previous video, you'd know the bit I'm on. Uh, basically, I've got to fight Mary, his sister, who's still alive and now a vampire, an extremely powerful one of that. Um, and my, obviously, my character does like, skills ain't strong enough to fight her yet, so I'm basically going to be finding ways to try and get my character stronger. That's what I need to do. So I'm not going to be doing the main story mode, just finding ways to get myself stronger. But I will be covering like side missions and whatnot as well, and that we're doing that. So all right, where can I start? I need to go and kill um, Nurse Crane to be honest. I'll get me some experience, but. I need to go over there at some point as well. Because Nurse Crane's a scout now, so. Look around this area and I can actually do. I got a marker sales, mate. Yeah, I did. to cure a headache. So I picked that one out yet. I'm actually in there, uh, because it's still one place I haven't actually visited yet. Over here. It's plus such, I don't know, I've been there a little bit, but I haven't. I mean, that was where I had to go for that guy, but sewer dog thing was there, was here wasn't it so I'm gonna head I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna go fight her first I'm gonna go there just, just, just to set a waypoint or like a checkpoint sort of thing I'm gonna fight her and I'm gonna go through here and see what I can do. Stop me, I are Now, yeah. Oh, I never, uh, I've got 
was echt klaar. Au. Dus even aan zijn. find the letter. Oh, it's a suicide note.
die. He's dead now. was 
you know, we killed you so. <laughs> well, he knows.
Perry to do some stuff. Sweet. Sound. Oh, maybe some of the Uh, well, as I was saying, uh, I've got my mic's on. My, my wide mic is plugged into my control, my control's in charge. You seem upset. Is something bothering you? I lost the necklace I bought her. I'm a fucking idiot. A worthless idiot. Sometimes it's hard to be a good son. I just want her to smile. No, I was thankful for her patience, appreciated like... God knows oh, she deserves like it. Guy. I could kill him, but I'm not going to. Do you require medical assistance? <laughs> That's something I didn't expect to hear again. A doctor concerned with the health of his patients. Yeah. I could use some help. On several matters, in fact. I don't know which kind of doctor you're used to dealing with. But it's a doctor's purpose to heal people. And is it your purpose as well, Mr. Reed? I would say it's a convenient way for gaining people's trust. Oh, you're welcome. I just fucking helped you out. What can you tell me about this part of town? A shithole filled with maggots. Liars and thieves, all of them. Somewhat of a decent bloke. 
unlike most maggots, he knows how to listen without opening his trap. <laughs> okay. Goodbye, Mr. Fishburn. How much speed is he even worth? Right, if it's 100, it's not much. Oh yeah, sure, I could kill him, but... Be able to you be have young nothing kid. to fear from me. No, it's just that people prefer to avoid me. Well, I won't. I'm a doctor. My name is Rufus, sir. Rufus Kingsbury. Heard anything about Sean Hampton shelter lately? I rarely go near there, but rumour has it the place is restricted. Only members chosen by Mr. Hampton are allowed in. What can you tell me about this region? It's all about staying out of trouble. But since most people prefer to avoid me, it's pretty easy. Why do people avoid you? They call me Rufus the Curse. Around here, I'm a bit of a bad luck charm. Have you ever thought about leaving? <laughs> Where else would I go? At least I know these streets and some people around here. This is my city, for better or worse. Fair enough. What do you I'm do about that, here, Rufus? I listen to the news on the dock, sir. And I smile at those kind enough to spare me a bob. Do you have a job? It's hard to work. What with my head and all. Since I was a boy, I've always had trouble remembering what I do and why I do it. What do people say about this place? Things have been tense between the wet boot boys and the communists. They both feel they should run the dock. Are you alone? Where is your family? I... I don't have any. My parents are dead. So you have no home? You're sleeping rough? No. I mean, yes. I live on the streets. I have no home. You should be careful, Rufus. There are things that lurk in the shadows of this city. Things that prey on the lonely and the desperate. Well, I've known worse. I'm not all alone. I have Mrs. Fishburne. She's been very kind to me. Why do you think she's so considerate? I can't say, sir. I guess she's a good soul. Sometimes it's like she replaces the mother I lost, even if we're not related. Do you need help? A real doctor caring about me. That's a first. I feel like a real person. Yeah, what? A real doctor treats everyone the same, Rufus. I don't know what to say. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm a trophy. Hippocratic Oath. You're welcome, mate. So long, Rufus. Be careful. Take care. I was no, you know, eating, but... I need to go to Western Docks anyway. No, no, I need to go to Western actually. It's Western I need to go to, not Western Docks.
You're back, Doctor. What can I do for you? Have you got any recent news on Sean Hampton's shelter? I've not seen him since he came back to the docks. <laughs> Rumour has it he's converted his flock to some sort of cult. That's unbelievable. What can you tell me about this part of town? It's not that bad. Thanks to people like the sad saint of the East End. Who? Sean Hampton, our own private holy figure. Few are foolish enough to make peace with the gangs. Sean is one of them. How is it you can keep this place open? This part of town doesn't seem particularly safe. Well, since everybody needs a drink, my pub is considered neutral ground by most groups. Since I'm here, is there anything I can do? Perhaps, Doctor. Peace partly depends on my stock of gin. With the epidemic, my supplies are running low. How could a physician help you in this matter? I have a small warehouse just past the quarantine line. Perhaps, with you being a doctor, you could go there and come back? Doctors aren't immune to disease, you know. Very well. Show me where it is. I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's the key to get in. You're about to save many dry throats. <laughs> You're something of a figurehead around here. I'm only pouring alcohol for everyone to forget their troubles. Sean Hampton is the one giving them long-term hope. I see. So you get pressure from all sides about how this place should be run, do you? Well, something like that. Nothing that a few wise words and a bottle of gin can't solve. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Need. 
no one ever draws a weapon here. That's one of the reasons I accepted the job. Your boss must be quite the negotiator to force such an agreement. Yeah. Tom's a great bloke. Mr. Hampton, who runs the night asylum, he's the only other man that's able to keep peace around here. It's all about mate.
guys. Not long. Two minutes. Two seconds. Right, I'm back. Right, where was I? It's locked. Oh, I need to go through as well. I must go around the other way, don't I? And this way. I can. Turn around. Oh my God. Thank you, you must kill me. And he did. Wow, he managed to get would get me in the end. That's ridiculous. I just fucking bit him. I don't know how he survived. Come on, I've got things I want to do, come on, hurry up. As long as loading screens are annoying. Right. Where was I? Oh, let's put me back here. I don't want to be here, I wanted to be... So I wanna go down here and uh Dead now, aren't you? <laughs> Alright, to get to where I wanted to do. Almost.
Oh, this is our chase that. Uh, no, we won it before. Oh yeah, first guy. No, I don't think I can. It's locked, all right. I can get through this way. I'm sure it's lamp part. Easy does it, boys. We can deal with it. Come on, that's ball. You die already. I need to go left and I oh, that way to the west end. I need to go this way. I cannot enter. It's locked, all right. Is there no way around? Maybe it's a way around this way. I need to get down there. I need to get through here. I don't know why it won't let me. He's mine. No, you're mine. That's the bridge back to that way. I don't want to go that way. I actually just want to get through here if I can. It's out of the place. Fuck is Well I'll get the fuck out of there man, come on. What was that about man? Whoa I missed. Dead now, aren't you, mate? I 
Ah. No, I don't. Wonder if it'll take me into where well, I need to be. It's locked. Ah. Why can't I go through there? I'd like to get to the West End to be honest, but I'm gonna go watch up anyway to kill um uh ah, what's her fucking name? But no, this is a skull. Eventually anyway, so I'll put try that way in a bit. What's this which way to take me? Whoa! What the fuck? How are they faster than a vampire? Man, that now and yeah. <laughs> okay, out of but I think you see me kill the rest of them. How are you faster than me? So I don't get that whole stamina thing, man. Some humans are physically faster than me, like, huh? <laughs> There's no way any of them should be faster than me. Just go in the back of Elspeth because there's that event in there. Okay, right, done. What is the event now? That's the question. I went too far. It's through here. Oh, the event's in. in the hospital or what? Let's go in the morgue. Let's see what it actually is. Might have moved a little bit. Let's see whatever this is. Give a letter to that kid. And I think I'll call it then. Oh, 
I think I've got quite a bit of XP. It doesn't say if it's in the milk or out of the milk or what, I don't know. I should start by buying a going hunting. I'll kill with it, that's one of these in there. Upstairs first and clear upstairs. No, I'm strong enough. I should come in here and take him on. What happened here, though? I cannot enter. I'm pretty sure there weren't many dead bodies in there before. Clear the basement. I only I'm only downstairs. One, two, three, four. Well, there's quite a few down there. I'll just clear it upstairs if I uh, on go. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I cleared it upstairs. Well, I can't get through there for some reason. 
Oh, hello. What the? I'll go back home in a sec. Alright, let's just do it. Thomas Elwood? Oh, that is, that's, that's the thing we're stringing. Oh shit, not done then. Oh, come on! Fucking stamina! Excuse my language, guys. The stamina really does piss me off at the most awkward time. It, one more hit and it just, and the stamina goes like. Actually, it's one more hit from being dead. That was just silly. Say wait a second. I'll get this done to fair oh st They say you could sponge. This time the stamina don't get me killed. What the f is him jumping me straight away? Oh my god, that was okay. Oh my god, was it? No, the thing's working, that's not. Oh, come on, stamina! Don't do that shit to me again. Oh, come on, stamina! For fuck's sake! I'm getting fed up with stamina, you know. 
sorry guys, but the stamina is just stupid for a vampire man. It just dies out in the most awkward time like. Especially when these wolves are not even that hard to kill. It's ridiculous, isn't it? I'm gonna have to wait like for this long ass loading screen as well. Can I get this done? Quick as I can. So I can end the video. Come on, it's just wasting my time now. So I'm gonna get this event done. And take the sort of thing, letter thing out. I don't need to be sitting there getting with my um I mean, times I wipe all these things out. I don't need to be just sitting there wasting time. Dying because of stamina. I'm sitting there for long ass loading screens when I die. I'm gonna have to clear this whole building out when I finish now as well. Alright. I'm just getting a bit more XP, that's one thing. I can't even see, like, come on. I'm oh, now getting hit by this, thanks. <laughs> Bitch, you're dead now. <laughs> Alright, let's get this done. Oh, what was that there? How wolf and skulls are like, not fighting you, I don't know. Ah, oh, don't not not now. Come on, don't like No, 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 no. How the fuck did he just... My stamina's going out, look, look, look how quick the stamina's going. No, no, stamina, no, not again, come on, for fuck's sake. You all bloody die. Look at my health. Jeez. Huh. Stamina is ridiculous sometimes in this game. It really does, just, just baffles me. Is that event done now, yeah? Right, yeah, event's done. That was that wolf. Oh, let's clear out of these scouts. I know many of them, so.
Whoa, where did you come from? Look, Stamus, look, almost gone again. But level 9 is a 2 hit. Come on, that's, that's ridiculous. A little level 9s, they're 2 hit. <laughs> I'm dying to fucking pox level 9 fucking scales like that. Like I'm almost dead. Jeez, that was a bit too close. Well, okay. No, you bloody wild dogs. Alright. Alright, let's clear the lower level now. And get out of here. Took me a bit longer than I thought it was now though. Again, stamina. <laughs> Yeah, I get the game's meant to be hard, like it's hard mode, but come on, stamina really. <laughs> it runs out most awkward times. I need to think, considering my stamina level is such a high level, it would recharge faster, but it don't. Well, I need to get that letter done and I can end the video man, because it's going to be too long. That's that event done, so now I've got to go to uh, see that young kid with his mum in the hospital. Uh, this way. I remember I used to struggle fighting these level 6's uh, scales. Now I can just take them <laughs> multiple of them. And that one was just one hit. <laughs> I can't remember I used to struggle fighting them once. So. Mr. Hooks and Nurse Hawkins are an item. Those two have hidden their affections well. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I have seen it done on the map.
Oh, why? What's well, a bloody hospital? That's the main way in. Can I curious thing? Good evening, Dr. Tibbetts. Dr. Reed, any good news to share? Do you need any medical assistance yourself, Doctor? Yes, indeed. But don't worry, I am perfectly capable of taking care of myself. Clearly you're not. I have no doubt about it, but you are still ill all the same. Please, take this medicine. I appreciate your concern, Dr. Reed. To be honest, I just did not take the time to diagnose myself. Well. What's all this? Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. Circumstances, I'm willing to give you the benefit of the Good evening, doubt. Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. I have retrieved your letter, Mr. Goswick. I can assure you that nobody read it but me. Thank you. <clears throat> this is for you, then. For your help. And for your silence. I think you should talk to your mother. It would be good for both of you. Thank you, Dr. Reed. I'll think about it. Now, please, let me be. I've read your letter, Mortimer. You wrote about an unbearable feeling of despair while the world crumbles around you. Tell me more about it. There's nothing more to say, really. It's hurtful, it's unbearable, and I don't ask anyone to understand it. Despair is a deadly poison I've tasted myself, sir. We're only tempted to drink it because we're terrified by the uncertainty of the next minute. I know that perfectly, Doctor. For I waited for so long, hoping that the next minute would be less unbearable. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. Okay. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Don't waste your time with me. Good evening, Doctor. How is my son doing? son's suicide note. It was not an impulsive gesture, nor was it his first attempt. He threatened to kill himself a few times before, but I never thought he would dare to punish me this much. Punish you? Why? I've known for a long time he was not happy with his life, but I always hoped he cared enough to avoid making me suffer like this. realize your son could try to kill himself again. He might succeed next time. I think about it every minute. But I won't stop fighting for my son's future. That's how much I love him. Is that that? You're right. Your son's death was not fatal. And unlike many on their own, he is lucky to have you by his side. I I can't give up on him. I just can't. I have conceded many times in my life, but giving up on my son is something I am incapable of. Mortimer is extremely vague as to his motivations for committing suicide. Tell me more about what you know. As you say, Mortimer had no reason to die. All he said to me was that he wanted to make the world a better place. Uh, 
What do you think he meant by making the world a better place? Mortimer has always been a sensitive soul. He wouldn't talk to anyone for months after his father passed. It's like he carries everyone's sadness with him. Why did your son feel so useless when facing the world? I think it was more that he could only see the melancholy facets of life. He couldn't help but dwell on such things. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswin. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. Your mother won't let you down, Mortimer. Don't you share her hope for a better future? No. I don't. Won't you even try? Do you want me to promise you I'll get better? Do you want me to tell her the same thing? I could, but it would not change anything. That's probably brush, isn't it? I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Don't waste your time with me. You always do the worst to Well, guys, I think that's it for today's video. It's a bit long because I've obviously died a couple of times in the morgue exploring everything I was doing. The video's going to be quite long, actually. Just, but these next couple of videos are just me exploring, making myself stronger, ready for the boss fight again. I know, guys, if you like what you see, like share below, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Peace out, guys. Take care. I'll just quickly finish these upgrades. Oh, must be unknown. You did. Funny, I'm not that. And fucking upgrade. quite enough. What did that one know? That's what happened, and then I'll end it. Oh! What did he die of? How did he die? <laughs> Oops. Hello guys. As I said, we jump with videos I put it in there. Last couple below, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Peace out, guys. Take care. Enjoy the rest of the night.